Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go into Infinite Campus um, and we're going to create a filter to export our students in the school and then we will organize that filter and then we will make individual class lists. So I'm just logging in here. So once you get into Infinite Campus, you're going to go over here and go to Tools. Once you go to Tools, you're going to go to come down here to Filter Designer, where you're going to hit Query Wizard, and you're going to hit Student, and it will allow you then to create. So you're going to hit the Create button. You're going to make a name for your query name. So this is a name for your filter. And then if you want to explain what you're doing, you can write a short description below. So we're going to name this just Idacio Students 2018. And then you're going to come down Oh, and up here you're going to make sure that it says all, because if it doesn't say all, maybe it says one, first through fifth, it won't have all the students in your school. So make sure you do go up to schedule and hit all. So anyhow, we'll come down to demographics, and this is where you're going to choose the different options that you want from your uh, with, within your filter. So we always do last name, first name. I like to do birthday because I can see when a kid's birthday is whenever I'm teaching them. Um, always need to do a homeroom teacher. If you want, you can do primary language. You can actually also do parent contact and do an email contact where you can email them um, their grades throughout the year. But we'll talk about that later. Anyhow, you're going to hit save. And then you're going to come down here to data export. And then you're going to find your filter. So the filter we created was Idacio Students 2018. You're going to, on the right side, it's going to have the HTML list. And then you're just going to hit export and it's going to create the list for you. It might take a second, but once it does create the list, we're going to highlight everything. And when we do, make sure you highlight the top tabs. So student last name, student first name, student birth date, student homeroom teacher. That's very important that those tabs are highlighted. So we're going to highlight the whole list here and then we're going to copy this list and we're going to go into Excel. So you're going to go find your Microsoft Excel. And you're going to paste by right clicking. Just going down to paste. Okay, from here, um, what you're going to do is we're going to filter these out. And what we're going to filter them out to is we're going to filter them out so they're organized because right now they're just by last name. That was the first thing we did. So we're going to go make sure everything is highlighted. And you're going to go to custom sort you're going to add levels and the first level is going to be homeroom teacher so that's going to be the first thing that's going to be grouped and then we'll go into I like to personally do last name first and then first name last um, then you can just hit OK and now it organizes everything so once you've got all your list organizes, organized you're going to highlight the first class I'm sorry right here I'm creating a folder um, which is on my desktop, but sometimes it pops up behind this. Anyhow, this is a little hiccup here. I've done this earlier, so I'm doing a voiceover now, so it's a little different. Um, so anyway, here's this folder. I'm going to create the class lists. So I'm just going to put class lists. And of course, I didn't realize I already had a 2018, so I've got to create a different name. That was the one I actually used this year, so I'm just trying to show people how to do this. So class list, we're going to put 2019. All right, so we come back up here. We're going to highlight the tabs, and you're going to highlight the first class. So I'm just going to look in over the teacher, and I'm going to go down to Airy, where it goes to the bottom, and highlight that whole class. Right-click, copy, and then I'm going to open up another Excel. Open it up, copy and paste that, and then we go to Save As, and always go to Save As. So you can rewrite the names because we're going to do a little trick here and make it easy. So I'm going to put Airy fifth grade. We're going to go to desktop. I'm going to go find that class list or that folder that I created. Class list 2019, open that up, and then I save. So from here, I can actually just delete all the kids in Aries class. But I need to keep the tabs. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to highlight all just the kids. We're going to delete delete this whole class and we're going to keep this open 
because we're going to resave this file many times with all the different classes that we highlight. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to actually erase all of Aries kids so it kind of keeps me organized when I'm trying to find the next class I have to copy. So delete and then I'm going to go down to the next class which is Mr. Bolden's class. Uh, this is one of my DLC classes that's why it's not uh, a huge huge class. So again I'm going to go copy, I'm going to go to paste keeping those tabs there that's important when we import those save as and I'm gonna write bolden DLC so we're gonna do one more class just to kind of sh show the process a few times so I go in here and I delete just the names I keep the tabs open go back to the other Excel sheet delete bolden since they're already highlighted just hit delete and then highlight miss brooms class so I highlight miss brooms class once again copy by right clicking go into the copy button right clicking go into paste and that's okay just hit okay um, we're gonna save in here and then just type in broom and that's another fifth grade class so you're gonna do that with all of your classes um, that is the first step okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into what my class lists are this year once you've copied all of your class lists through the process we just looked at this is what your folder should look or your folder should look like should have all your classes in it what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna go to Dropbox and you have to use Dropbox when you're doing this um, particular thing that's what I've at least found works best so if you don't have an account Dropbox is free um, all you need to do is once you go into Dropbox is you need to drop your class list by just simply dragging the, the folder into Dropbox and then it'll just copy everything over. So I've already done that and that's what this 2018 list looked like, but that's how you drag it. Um, so these are all the classes and then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna actually do the rest of it from your iPad.